All right, boys and girls, we are on our math journal part here um, in our Chapter 5 bar modeling unit. Uh, here's an example of one, and you can see the little boys thinking here, like, okay, uh, the park fund raises $2,960. The playground fund raises $2,662. Um, park fund raises $298 more than the playground fund. So this person's already done the math for this, right? So they've already figured out that the difference between the park fund and the playground is 298. They've also figured out that combined both park and playground have a total fund with $5,622. So what they, they've done all the math already. Now what they're going to do is they're going to create their own word problem using the numbers here, okay? And they're going to do the bar model to show what they know, what they need to know, what they're trying to find out, how to use it. And then you can see down here that they're setting up the problem and solving. Okay, so they use the information above and they said the park fund raises $2,960. The playground fund raises $298 less than the park fund. How much does the playground fund raise? So again, up here, you know, they worded it a couple of different ways. They said uh, the park fund raises $298 more than the playground fund. But then they also changed it around the other way and said the playground fund raises $298 less than the park fund. They mean the same thing, right? Um, one is from the park fund raises more, the other is the playground fund raises less, okay? Uh, and then they also added a third piece that says the park fund and playground fund raise uh, $5,622 altogether. So what they ended up using then was the $2,960 for the park fund and the $298 less than the park fund. And we had to figure out what the playground fund was. Uh, so they wrote it out then, 2,960 minus $298 equals 2,662. And that was the information, again, that they already know all the information, but they're basically, they get to be the teacher, right? They're going to create this math problem. So let's go ahead and uh, turn the page to 86. And now we're going to create a word problem, uh, but I have to try this apple pie because it's pie day first, okay? Mmm. I don't know who made it. That's a pretty good apple pie, though. All right. We have, um, let's say, some stuff that we know. Let's go, uh, we'll just make up our numbers. There's 187 third graders. Okay, um, 225 fourth graders. And I can see the difference there uh, is 25 and 13, 38. So um, third graders, 38 less than the fourth graders, right? Or the fourth graders have 38 more. Okay, uh, let's see here. We have... 412 total students in third and fourth grade. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's make a word problem with that now. Uh, let's go Prairie Ridge Intermediate has 187 third graders. Uh, there are 38 more fourth graders than third graders. Okay. And now let's go ahead and put our question in. How many fourth graders? Because we added how many third? And we added how many more fourth graders there were. So how many fourth graders attend Prairie Ridge? Okay, so now we're going to come down and we're going to write in our bar model. <clears throat> so I'm going to draw a little bar model across here. And we can go ahead and label that third grade. 
and we know that there are 187 third graders. So I'm going to go ahead and put up the 187 there. Uh, we know that there are 38 more fourth graders, which means there's 38 less third graders, right? So we know that if we can add that on to here, this is going to be our difference. There are 38 and Uh, we'll go third uh, less than, okay? Because that's meant the same thing, right? So now we're going to kind of try to stay somewhat close to the edges of the bars, right? And these two should match, okay? So this is fourth grade. And what we don't know is how many fourth graders there are. Now we can go ahead and do our problem. We have 187. We need to add 38. And that equals 225. There are 225 fourth grade students attending Prairie Ridge Intermediate. Uh, and you can go ahead and show your work off to the side, right, like we've been doing. I'm going to add those 38. Okay, now I know we kind of already had that work done, but you'll want to make sure the work is done correctly. So there we are. Uh, we have an answer. We've done our whole entire word problem all by ourselves, so that's awesome. And if you remember the pie that I tried, whisper that to me when you see me the next time and I have something special for you. All right? Again, what pie did I try? All right, we'll see you soon, boys and girls.